soccer ball out of rags. And we used sweatshirts as goalposts. We used to play this game, soldiers and thieves. The thieves would throw pebbles at the soldiers. If they got caught, they got beat up. Sometimes we called it Palestinians and Israelis. My father moved from Belfast to Norwich to work in a heavy engineering plant. We moved to a place called Suffolk Park. We used to go hurtling over the hedges and have our own wee grand national. My childhood seemed happy to me. 12 to 14, sex and cigarettes. Going to a club, getting your first kiss. One day, my mother was sweeping the small yard in front of our house. Six Israeli soldiers came around the corner and kicked me from behind. I landed like a pancake. My mother said to the soldiers, what are you doing to my son? And the soldier said, what's a whore like you doing outside your house in a curfew? My father was the only parent I had. My mother had left. I wanted him to touch me. The only touch I could get was when I would wash his feet. I was always looking down. I only remember the basin. He was blue. The government say no more money for Kurdish villages in the mountains. We moved to a town. Nine of us living in one small room. We didn't speak Turkish. Our clothing was different. At school, no one, not even a teacher, spoke to me. I was left in a corner alone. One time. I was eight years old. My stepmother said, I'm going out. You had better cook the dinner. I thought how the beast you look when she made it. I put nearly a pint of cream into the sauce and some curry. He had the rifle. He looked as he should. My stepmother told me to take it to the dining table. My father, he sat there and shouted, Woman, is this the food you have prepared? My stepmother said, she cooked the food. He told my brother to fetch a stick, the big stick for beating cows. He told me to lie down. I put my hands on my bone to protect me. He busted my fingers. He beat me on the head. I still have scars. Then he jammed my head between his legs. Grip me tight. Couldn't breathe, beating me, beating me, beating me. When my father finished, I was full of blood. By the age of 13, our game Soldiers and Thieves had become a reality. We threw stones at a jeep going past our school. I was caught. I was sent to prison for six months. It was the last day of school. Sophia, my best friend, came running. Don't go home. I hear your father is going to beat you again. She took me to her house. I showed her mother my busted fingers. I stayed with her that night. The next morning, she showed me a photograph of my real mother and told me the journey to find her. I got on a bus. I left home. 